the late President Magufuli of Tanzania said that economic war is the hardest of all wars. He said it's harder than a war of guns. And I think we are seeing that almost everywhere. It takes a different software. That's the problem. For military war, we go to a, to a camp. We roll on the floor. We do push-ups. We do sh train, shoot up stuff. This is how you get a grenade. You know, how to break guns. You train. Six months, one year. Then you pick up a gun in your sleep. Now, talk about the economic war. Why would Magufuli say that? Because you are moving a soldier who was trained to shoot, to blast, to detonate grenades, and you put him on a balance sheet. This is the reality of African politicians who walk from the bush with whatever kind of education they received, this one story. Then you move this entire system into the, they come as political people into the economic boardrooms. So there's frustration as to why are things not changing. Because the very understanding of how the system is wired, they never went on the shooting range to train as economic soldiers. The revolution on the economic table needed the same discipline and training that we did for political liberation. And maybe let's give you the full war. After we have fought the political war and won, <laughs> then we discover we have an economic war which must be fought, we must win. Then we discover there's an academic war of education that we must fight and win. Then we discover there's an agricultural war we must fight and win. Then sports and entertainment. We must first fight and win. And lastly, spirituality. So I've actually designed for you, your generation, the seven major pillars that the modern young people, you need to understand this battle. Or else, your fathers stood up after political war. Oh, now we need economic war. We don't need to go that route. Let's activate all the seven of them and let's implement it.